Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Premiere Pro scripting quick tip. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to access Mogurts in Premiere. What this means is I'm going to be showing you how you can access uh, all of the properties and their values inside of a motion graphics template and this is accessible and viewable both in your effects controls window as well as the essential graphics. With this we're going to loop through, get our graphic parameters and all of the values within it and you'll notice that the color values appear a little bit weird but it'll also give you normal values for things like text, uh, slider values, point controls and much more. Before we get started with this video I do want to remind you down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week on the channel and down in the description you can check out the code for this in the github link make sure you follow us there as well as I always upload code on github way before the videos come out. You can also join our discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions and much more. And if you want to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks, link will be in the description. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks as well as help us out financially. And you can also join in useful and um, educational live streams, hang out, and uh, get cool shout outs as uh, some of our members will today. We got Ferris, Tavelli, Elad, J Pearl, It's Namias, and a lot more members on the way. How do we access our Mogurt parameters in Premiere Pro? The first thing we need to do is get access into whatever our Mogurt layer or Mogurt clip we could also call it is. In our case, we have an open sequence. We have video track one, which contains our Mogurt, and it's the very first item. So the way we're gonna access that is first, we're gonna grab our active sequence. This is very similar to After Effects scripting where you grab the active comp or active item. Then we're going to grab the first video track. In Premiere, you can get all of the video tracks or all of the audio tracks by just saying sequence.audio tracks or sequence.video tracks. And to get the very first video track, we just need to reference index zero because it is an array of video tracks. Now, we can furthermore get all of the clips, which are the track items contained. If we wanted to say have multiple, you could see we have three clips here. But in this case, for simplicity, we have one single clip and all the clips are contained in an array similar to our video tracks. So I've created a variable called our clip with a Mogurt. And what this is gonna be is our video track, which we referenced, which is video track one, and the very first clip, and because it's an array, that's index zero. So what we can do just to make sure this works is say alert clip with Mogurt.name. I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out. And when I run this, you can see we get gauges zero one. So we know we're referencing the correct piece of footage by checking on its name. Then I'm gonna create a variable called Mogurt component. In Premiere Pro, all of the things inside of your effects uh, controls window are called components. Each one of these is a component. We have motion, opacity, and any effects you've applied. This also includes graphic parameters or essential graphics. And there's a built-in useful method to get specifically the Mogurt component. And that's simply to reference our clip. Remember we have our clip right here. And to get our Mogurt component, we use the uh, function or method called get MGT component. And this will basically go through and make sure it only gets your Mogurt component. You don't have to worry about looping through, checking the name if it's graphic parameters or anything like that. So what we can then do is alert our Mogurt component dot display name. Uh, we can't reference the name itself. We're gonna grab the display name. And when we do that, we get graphic parameters, which is exactly what we want. Now we can simply loop through all of the properties within our graphic parameters, which is all of our Mogurt properties. We can grab both the name and check the values or even change the values if we want. So the way we do that is by looping through all of the properties and the number of items in our properties array. Uh, if we get the properties of our graphic parameters, it's gonna give us our text color and our element color in this case. And what that means is we're going to loop through it twice and we wanna grab the number of items in that properties array, which is two. We're gonna loop through those and for each one, let's go ahead and actually just use an alert. Remove this line. I'm gonna say my Mogurt component dot properties i and let's get the display name so now if i run this we're going to get text color and element color which is perfect there's two more methods we can use to get useful information the first of which is to say get value and if we look at this we're going to get an illegal parameter type 
Um, in Premiere Pro, you actually need to use strings as alerts, which is kind of annoying. But as you can see, we're going to get these strange numbers for the colors. Uh, I believe there's, there's got to be a way to convert these to something useful. This might just be in some kind of hexadecimal or strange format. But if you have things like text, it's going to appear exactly as a text string. Or if you have like a slider, it will appear just like that. To illustrate this, let me import a different uh, Mogurt. And in this case, we have quite a few more values we can look at. We have uh, checkboxes, text, and a lot of other things. So if I run this, you can see I'm going to get quite a bit. The first thing I'm going to get is if you ever get a big chunk like this, this is representative of your entire uh, font or text. It contains everything from the font value to the text, and it's an entire object. So in this case, if I wanted to get, say, the text edit value, or the text value itself, you would need to call the property text edit value of this get value function. But for other things that aren't fonts, you can see we can get true. In this case, the checkbox is checked as true. And you can also get things like uh, point controls when you have two basically slider values here. And they're all going to be formatted into the Premiere specific format. But now you can go through and get all of the values of the text, the colors, and everything inside of your Mogurt. The last thing I'm going to say is you can also set the value, which requires basically two arguments. The first of which is you want to give it the value you want to set it at. So let's just say we want to set it to 100. And then you want to say true or false if you want to refresh the user interface. I would recommend saying true. So that way, uh, let's say we change this checkbox to false and we set it to false. Um, it's not going to update it until we click around or update our render. We would actually need to say true, which will refresh the UI and show us that it's been set to a different value. But that's basically how you can access, get the values of, and begin setting the values of any of your Mogurt properties in Premiere. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates. And you can also follow us on Instagram in the description of this video as well. If you're not a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you want to help support the YouTube channel, link will be in the description. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, get cool perks, and help us out financially. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.